Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Tam Pham from BotAcademy.com where we teach um, students and marketers and entrepreneurs how to be so good at creating chatbots that companies will pay them thousands of dollars to build them for their companies. And today, uh, I'm very honored to be here and teach you about how to create a lovable bot through copywriting. I've made dozens of bots myself, gone through literally hundreds of chatbots and seen all the different uh, Great examples and bad examples of copywriting within Messenger. Um, we've teach students and we've seen our students chat boss and the boss they build for clients. Um, so we have a very clear understanding of what people love, uh, when talking on Messenger, when communicating through a chat bot. And I want to go over the three main points that you see on the screen here about how to create really great copy for your chat bot. Very simple. This is the 80 20 of what you need to know. Um, but before I do that, I want to share the philosophy of why we want to use chatbots in the first place, right? And, and because once you know the origin story, that's when you can frame all of these uh, texts and copy, copywriting questions you have to, through this lens. Um, and I'm sure you might have seen through the other training videos from all the amazing speakers who talk about chatbots. The philosophy for us is that, look, email marketing has been working for a very, very long time. Andrew Warner, the founder of the company, um, started a, a, a company based on building email lists and grew to like a million email subscribers. Um, so we definitely know the value of email marketing. But the problem is that the um, open rates and click rates are going down and not many people are engaging with an email. Now we ask people, people hate checking their email. And if you think about it, what do people actually check? And Andrew thought, okay, uh, I'm texting my wife, I'm texting my friends, I'm texting my coworkers through Slack and iMessage and Facebook Messenger. If people are on these messaging apps, then we should communicate where our, peop where our people are, where our customers are. And that's the premise of why we want to build chatbots so we can communicate them to where um, our customers and our audience is. But the problem is that, and I see many uh, novice chatbot creators do this, is they try to take what works in email and copy and paste it into Messenger, into chatbots. And that is not what works. Um, the same way that you can't market on Facebook, the same way on Instagram, the same way you can't uh, copy and paste with Instagram onto Snapchat, uh, Snapchat onto uh, email, and so on. All these platforms are unique. All of them have, uh, communicate differently, and they're all different audiences. So we want to make sure that with this module, with this um, training video, we want to make sure that you um, write copy that is meant for Messenger. Like you cannot just copy, or you could, but it is not uh, recommended to copy long paragraphs of, of things that you might see in an email onto uh, a message because, one, no one's going to scroll through all that. Two, you have so many other options. You can do images, GIFs, buttons, and so on. We want to talk to people as if we are talking to them, uh, texting them through Messenger. And we won't text people long paragraphs or essays through Messenger. So let's get started on the three main points. Um, and after we run through these, I want to show you real examples of these in, uh, in, uh, in progress or process. So number one, uh, we want to understand who your avatar is and communicate in their language. Now, this is the most overstated thing that you might hear in every single marketing and business book, but I have to communicate it because so many people still don't do this. They, they communicate as if they are, they just, they just sound cool. They want to make it up or whatever. They, they think that they know what they're saying, but in reality, I can't tell you what the best copy is for you. And anyone who tells you, like, oh, this is the best copy for chatbots. This is the best copy for uh, wh whatever it is. I would uh, challenge their points because I because because I don't know your audience because I don't know who your avatar is I don't know how to communicate in their language so if I am really great at speaking to entrepreneurs and you have um, an audience of fashion bloggers uh, who who you know might not be an entrepreneur how, like how would I know the best way to communicate with them they like, you have to know your audience the best and when you know this everything else becomes so much easier and i'm not gonna uh go too deep into this because this is a very obvious thing and um i want you to really stress how important this is as number one and number two we want to teach through stories and there's so much evidence and data behind how we remember things how we retain things how we 
find things remarkable and they all come through the form of stories. Um, the famous quote is show, don't tell, right? So when we want to teach, we want to teach through stories, right? And we want to use a sequence and a sequence being, um, a automated drip sequence, a drip campaign of messages that you send out to your audience. So for example, um, if they subscribe to your email, I mean your messenger list or to your website, um, every two days, every three days, they will get a message from you um, in this sequence that's automated that drips out um, however you set the frequency. So we wanna use a sequence to solve your customer's biggest pain points because the best way to build a relationship with your audience is to teach them and to teach them by solving what their burning pains are. And when we teach and when we solve these problems, we can't simply just say, oh, if you wanna lose weight, um, if, you're, if it's a weight loss product, um, you're selling, you don't, you can't just say, oh, uh, you know, eat healthier, uh, drink more water, you know, or, <laughs> um, work out three times a week, well, whatever your fitness tips are, right? Um, you, you know, you can tell someone that, but that does not stick. That does not resonate. That does not make someone want to say, oh, that is so true. He's so right. I should definitely do that. We want to teach through stories. We want to tell about a story. Uh, I'm making this up. Um, I don't know who the avatar is and I'm just making it my business. But for example, a story might be of Jerry who ate Subway every single day. That's the favorite, famous story. I don't know if that's his real name or not, but um, some guy ate Subway every single day and lost weight. Um, and he had a before and after picture and that's memorable to me. Even though I don't know the guy's name, I remember that Subway was the one that had this experiment or had or was part of this. So teaching through story, we want to use a sequence to drip messages every single day, every other day, every three days, however your frequency is, to um, solve your biggest pain points. And we'll show you that in our own sequence at botacademy.com. Um, and lastly, we wanna use curiosity to drive engagement forward. So we want, to, we want people to be engaged. We want people to um, wanna know more what's gonna be next. And the chatbot's a perfect way to do this because the more they click and the more they engage with you, um, it's a very easy qualifier um, for each person. So you can see how uh, hot uh, someone is or like hot as in um, how hot the lead is or how cold the lead is. Uh, in very basic terms, you want to see who are your raving fans and who are just passive people who just are kind of interested but not really, right? So this is a very good indicator about how um, we can tell who is our biggest fans? And uh, my last point here is if there's low click-through rates, if there's low open rates, we want to question why that is, right? Usually that means the content is not specific or relevant to your customers. So we want to go back to that user research, go back to your avatar, go back to the biggest pain points and see, hey, are my, mess are my messages actually going through um, to uh, my audience the right in the right way that they should? Is it positioned correctly? Is this, am I speaking their language? Um, and so on. So. Um, you know, this is a very general concept and these aren't new, right? Like another thing I'm saying is like relatively brand like new in business, um, in all areas of marketing, in your advertising, in your copywriting, uh, in your email or messenger or whatever it is, these are all very, um, very, uh, uh similar principles. We want to know who the audience is. We want to teach them through stories that they remember, and we want them to be curious. We want them to, um, want to know what's next. Um, and we use that as a way, as a tactic and as a strategy to get our message across and stick and make it remarkable. So none of this is new. And what is new is applying these principles into Messenger, into a new platform. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to switch tabs right now to our Bot Academy page. I'm going to go into our sequences here. As you notice, I'm using manychat.com. Um, if you, if you're using, uh, Chatfield or Octane or any other chat platform, it doesn't matter what platform you use. As long as it, it could, um, send messages to people on Messenger, that is what works. And you can see, I'm just openly sharing our data. Um, we've tested a lot of messages. We deleted some. We turned off some. Uh, we added many, um, and so on. Um, as we improve and continue to uh, iterate on this, but let's go an example of how we start off the sequence, right? And our audience are, just to give context, our audience are uh, marketers, are people who wanna start their own agencies, 
or freelancers who want to add another service to their business. Um, so that's who we're targeting, right? And we, I know I can get definitely more specific into this, but just for a broad general sake, I want to just share with you that. Uh, and here we are. This is Andrew Warner, the founder of the company at Bot Academy. And off the bat, you can already tell how, how playful this is going to be, right? Like you see the CEO <laughs> giving a, a facial expression of with his hands to his head, like saying, oh my goodness, right? A while back, we had a mind blowing realization. What was that? Um, and we want to have curiosity. Yeah, can I tell you what that was? Yeah, blow my mind. Let's do that. Um, and you can see the more playful side of Andrew coming out now. Andrew kissing his phone with Messenger. And he tells a story. He's like, hey, I noticed that when our team talks to each other, we love using messages. Um, but when we communicate with our audience, we make a huge mistake. We want to know what that is. And so notice how we're, we're setting up the scene. We're setting up a story. And we're getting people, you know, 90% uh, click right here to continue the story to say, hey, yes, tell me what you see, Andrew. And you can see Andrew being more playful here. Like, notice this is all, you can't do this really in email. It's not like a, um, email is just like open and then boom, essay. But here it's like, let's dive in deeper. Let's go into the story. Let's see, um, let's go down this rabbit hole and see where this leads us. And so Andrew says, hey, when we communicate with our audience, we use email. But we hate email. We love messaging apps. Why don't we use this? And we continue the, the story. So we set up the, the story. We, now we have the problem. And then now I want to show you an important chart. And this chart talks about the usage of email versus messaging. Um, uh, and then we keep going on and on. And I hope you get the, the premise here. We set up the scene. We kind of address the problem that we're going to solve. And now we set expectations saying like, hey, Next few days, I'm going to teach you how to use bots to grow your sales. Um, and then this is a new link we added here very recently uh, as, a, as a, like a soft sell um, on the first day. But the point is what I'm trying to make is we're setting up the scene through each of these messages. We're having curiosity um, and we're made, most importantly, we're solving their problem. They're so, people subscribe to Bot Academy because they want to learn about how to use chatbots to grow their business, to grow their marketing. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Let's go on to two more examples. Let's do the next one. Just as an example, how marketing automation works. Here we have a very funny GIF uh, of a robot dancing. And then we say, today, I'm going to show you how to put your messages on autopilot. You want to see it, right? 40% click rate this time. Uh, that, that's very, uh, uh, surpri not surprising, but it's contrast to the 15% on the first day. So we can start to use these stats and see um, what resonates and what doesn't resonate. So boom. And then we show examples about how they can schedule the messages, very similar to what I'm doing here, like the very meta version. Uh, and we can say, hey, yeah, show me more. Um, drip campaign. You can see who gets the messages. You can pack a lot into what is in each day. Um, we, we show them, we teach them uh, about, about how this works. And then we hear ask them feedback like, hey, does this make any sense? And you know, the majority of people said yes. Um, and I'll show you one last example. Uh, but I hope you get the idea. We're, we're solving a problem. We're sending up a story and we're teaching, right? Um, so here we say, hey, I noticed a lot of people don't know what a bot is. Can I explain it to you? And look, we got 23% click rate. Let's go through. Here's our definition. Got it. Good. We want to see some examples. We've got 90% click rate here. And then we show them real examples of like, hey, TechCrunch is using this, right? Um, next, CNN is using this to send news to people, right? 95% um, click rate, that's pretty cool. 97%, so 800 flowers are using chatbots. And so we're showing examples of a chatbot. And it doesn't really matter what the content is because the content is going to be different from you and your audience and your business. But the point I'm trying to make is they have a problem. We're teaching through these stories and... Um, we're making it cure, we're making it engaging. We're being curious. We're showing example. Like, like people want to keep clicking on and going on. Um, and you see Andrew, like a very playful, like, Hey, you can do it too. Like just pointing to the camera, like you can do it too. Keep it simple. Um, start off by using messengers to say what kind of info you send, but keep things shorter, add more images and make it more interactive. This is very meta because this is the same tips I would give to you in, in messenger. Um, we want to make things shorter and right? not send paragraphs. We want to add fun images, fun gifts, um, emojis, if that makes sense for you. Uh, and make it interactive, right? We have buttons here. Um, they can choose um, different things. 
Um, here's another uh, soft sell we did. Uh, not soft sell. Uh, tutorial we did. Perfect. 2,000 clicks. Um, so this is an example of what it is to uh, teach through Messenger. We want to make it playful, make it fun. It's a whole different medium than what you see on email. So I want to sum up my points here um, by saying these three things again. We will first want to understand who our audience is and communicate in their language. We want to teach through stories, um, using the sequence to solve their biggest pain points. And only you would know that. No one else would know except you and your audience and your business. Um, and lastly, we want to use curiosity to drive the engagement forward. Are you, people, people might say like, oh, you know, like if I create too many messages, people won't click all the way through the end. As you notice that we have like 90% click rates over and over and it, it started to increase 95, 97. So yeah, like, you know, a couple of people dropped off like 5%, 3%. But, um, that just shows you like the people who you raving fans are there who want to stay to the very end. And those are the people you want to target when you uh, do other campaigns. Um, and so, or like, uh, want to beta test anything so you want to talk to your raving fans first. And that's a good um, indicator of who is the most engaged people. So, with all that being said, um, I really hope you uh, learned something from this and um, took away something uh, useful to use it in your business and your marketing. If you have any questions at all, feel free to email me anytime at tam at botacademy.com, T-A-M at botacademy.com. Uh, we have a lot of uh, free content on our site, botacademy.com slash blog. We have our course with 400 students who our students have made chatbots for people like Michael Hyatt, Jeff Goins, Neil Patel, um, Mastin Kip, and, and a ton of other e-commerce brands, real estate, car dealerships, um, and so on. It's been really amazing to see our students' progress. So if you want free content, it's on our blog. If you want to step it up and uh, accelerate your learning, we have our course. Um, and if you have any questions at all, please email me at tam at bodycamera.com. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, use this to your advantage and uh, best of luck on your chatbot journey.